You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fate. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for May 31st through June 6th. I hope you're having a good week. Thank you for spending some of it with me. All right, so this week, we are moving towards a new moon. So these first couple of days, we're in the dark. This is a period of time where we're supposed to be thinking about what do we need to let go of? What do we need to release now that we've had this big energy that we've been working with? And what do we need to see to going forward? And with that being said, there is a lot of excitement happening before we get to that new moon. So you may find that you are deeply inspired and really ready to set intentions by the end of this week. So first off, we have Mercury getting ready to leave Taurus. And before it does, it will have a conversation with Uranus. So sudden, out of the box, epiphanies could come through. Now that you know what you know, now that you've had this breakthrough, you've gone a little bit further down this road, you see something in a new light. So definitely look for those really cool ideas that just come from nowhere. Now, Mercury is going into his kingdom right after that. Mercury rules Gemini. It's one of its signs. And while Mercury's in Gemini, this is a great time to be very eloquent, witty. You may be inclined towards learning or exchanging ideas, which works well after having Mercury's conversation with Uranus. And one of the first conversations Mercury will have once in Gemini is with Jupiter, who is new to that territory too. So a lot of little ideas, a lot of details could come flooding in. Now, it's important to remember that with this energy, with all of these yeses and conversations and ideas coming through, that we can't say yes to everything. We want to say yes to things that are aligned with our path, aligned with our soul, that we know that we can scale as we go forward because Jupiter is going to make things bigger and bigger. Now, the thing is, both Jupiter and Mercury this week will also trine Pluto in Aquarius. So we are looking at a big picture vision. We're looking at something that helps us find our personal power and our path and expands us out in ways that we have not considered before. This is a very powerful energy to stretch into the future. And again, you can't stretch into the future in a hundred different ways. You want to stretch into a way that feels really aligned with your soul. Now, when the sun and Venus meet in Gemini, anytime the sun and Venus meet, we do have a, a harmonious energy, a good vibe to work with. And they're meeting in Gemini. So this adds to that playful charm, that social connection, this personal expression, being able to meet people where they are and to really explore new ideas. So you can see that that's a theme this week. How do we have this great idea and come together in a new way so we can expand out in a direction that we haven't explored before, but is ready to be explored? Now, both the sun and Venus will also sextile the North Node this week. Now, remember, our sextiles are ideas or suggestions or inspirations about how we can get to that point. So there's a lot of energy behind the scenes that says, you know what, this is where we are and this is where we want to go. How do we get there? And you're going to find that people are more agreeable, more ready to talk about. This is a great time to harmonize, to dream, to plan and take those action steps forward. Now, as I mentioned, we do have a new moon on June 6th. This is going to be in Gemini at 16 degrees. This new moon is going to be conjunct Venus and square Saturn and sextile the North Node. So that astrology talk means that you're going to be really heart-based and willing to do the work that Saturn's asking you to do and Saturn's in Pisces. So this is about compassion, having compassion, but healthy boundaries at the same time. And while honoring those boundaries and compassion, looking for insights and ideas and suggestions about how you can reach a karmic faded point. And I definitely encourage you to take some time to set some intentions this week to think about what do I need to do to make this happen? It could be a lot of little details. It could be making certain connections or phone calls or getting educated on certain points so you feel ready to step into this direction. Overall, it is an exciting week and I can't wait to dive into the signs and talk about how your personal view will look. So let's get to it. Hi, Gemini. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, vitality, high energy. There's a lot of action in your sign this week. Two, new directions, how to take those actions forward. And three, social alliances, making new connections. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, we are building towards a new moon in your sign. So even though there's a lot of energy and a lot of ideas flooding into your life right now, I definitely encourage you to take a step back, look at the scope of your life, your home work-life balance, your vitality, your individuality, the brand that you have and the partnerships that you have and ask yourself, what goals do you need to set to enhance all of these areas of your life? Enhance them where you feel more in flow and more natural with each and every step. Those are gonna be some very powerful intentions that you can set in your sign. 
Now, as we step into this week, your ruling planet, Mercury, is in a very private subconscious area of your life with Uranus. So it's likely that you're going to have some breakthrough ideas that come out of nowhere. Definitely lean into the instinct and intuition that you feel bubbling up from within. Now, once your ruling planet moves into your sign, this is going to give you a lot of ideas, a lot of motivation to share your viewpoint. You could find that you're very social in your home work-life balance with your partnerships almost every corner of your life. And one of the first conversations Mercury will have is with Jupiter, who is newly in your sign. So there is a chance that you could be feeling really overwhelmed right now. There's a lot of yeses coming at you at the same time, or maybe there's a lot of new pathways that you didn't see before, and you're trying to juggle them. And during this period of time, though it's challenging, you again, you want to take a step back, take a deep breath, and ask yourself, what really feels aligned? What can I scale? What can I go through? Because one of the biggest challenges with Jupiter in your sign is overwhelm. We can't say yes to everything. Now, an energy that can really help you hone in on this is both Jupiter and Mercury in your sign are going to try and Pluto. And Pluto is really focused on a higher education, publishing, traveling, new directions, your personal conviction. So in a sense, Pluto has the vision of where you're going and the transformational power that you need to work with in order to get there. And this is also in flow with your passions, things that are connected to your heart. So think about where you're growing into. We also have the Sun and Venus meeting in your sign this week. This is a harmonious energy. It acts like a magnet. Your magnetism, your ability to attract and manifest will be enhanced. So think about what you want to draw in, not the challenges in front of you, because that's going to help you make the connections. Both of these energies, the Sun and Venus, will be in sextile with the North Node. And the North Node is really focused on a social dynamic for you. So you may be thinking about new networks, new connections, maybe restructuring your dream now that you've had this epiphany or this breakthrough in your life. But overall, I do think it's going to be a very positive week for you, and I hope you have a good one. Look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Cancer. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Cancer, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, endings and beginnings, two, your reputation or something with authority figures, your sense of purpose, three, allies, friends, and networks that you're connected with. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, we're building towards a new moon. It's going to be happening in a very private area of your life that has to do with the subconscious, something spiritual, but definitely something around endings and beginnings. It's in flow with transitions, your roots, and your foundations. Now, before we get there, we have a little bit of action that's happening. Mercury has been part of a lot of potent energy. It's been happening around your alliances, your friends, something that has to do with your dream. Mercury is getting ready to move into this very subconscious area of your life into Gemini. Before then, Mercury will have an abundant breakthrough conversation with Uranus. So you can expect that a friend or a group could just enlighten you in one way or another as we step into this week. I encourage you to notice those ideas, notice those sparks that could come out of nowhere write them down because you're not going to remember them. Once Mercury moves into Gemini, this is going to give you the ability to really reflect on everything that's occurred and ask yourself, now that I know what I know, what do I need to change? The interesting thing about Mercury and Gemini is it is a very social energy, but it's also an energy that helps you untangle your thoughts and your mind to come up with a different way to approach something so that you can have very smooth endings and beginnings, very smooth transitions overall. Now, Jupiter just entered this area of your life not that long ago. So Mercury is meeting Jupiter as soon as it moves into its kingdom. And with this energy, it's likely that there's going to be so many ideas, so much inspiration. Like if you were a writer, I can just imagine so many different leads or insights coming in that you just can't write fast enough. But this would go for any profession, anything that you do in your life. You are so inspired. Now that you see something within, you're ready to make changes without. But the, the big overwhelm, that you may be experiences is there's so many different directions to take. So you do want to take a step back, hone in on what really matters. What do you need to do one step at a time? Because we don't want to be overwhelmed. Also, in the same private area of your life, Jupiter and Mercury will reach out to Pluto. And Pluto is in another private area of your life that has to do with shared wealth, deep intimacies, transitions. And with this energy, there is an opportunity to grow, to really commit to a change that needs to happen so that you feel more secure in your future, in the legacy that you are creating. You want to lean into this energy while it fills in flow. A trine is in flow. Sometimes we naturally react to squares more than trines, but leaning into the trine is going to get you leaps ahead. Now we will have Sun and Venus also meet up in this very private area of your life. So really magnetic thoughts, the ability to attract, to think about this is what I want to bring. Bringing beauty within so it radiates without is also very possible. 
these two energies, the Sun and Venus, will reach out and sextile the North Node. And the North Node is focused on your career, your reputation, the direction where we're going from here. So there's so much action happening behind the scenes. It's almost like a swan moving across a very dark water. You have so many things happening underneath, but above you look nice and calm and easy. But all of that beautiful energy underneath is getting ready to surface. But all this work that you're doing behind the scenes really matters right now. So be sure that you take your time, take a step back, think about the goals that you have, because there will be a new moon in this area as we end the week. And new moons give us the opportunity to have fresh starts, clean slates, be really clear about where we're going and how we want to get there. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. Look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Leo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, reputation, two, allies, new directions, and three, your partnerships. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, we are building towards a new moon in an area of your life that's starting to get a lot of energy pouring into it that has to do with your allies, your dreams, your support systems. It flows into your one-to-one -one partnerships and who you communicate with day in and day out. This is a good time to think about the connections that you have. How strong are they? Are there any, that, are there any connections that are ready to end? Are any connections that you want to reach out and start building toward? Now, Mercury is in the highest part of your chart right now around your reputation. And before Mercury moves into its home sign of Gemini, that is what frames your allies and your social network, it will meet Uranus. So there could be a lot of inspiration or ideas or breakthrough that comes from an authority figure in your life or your reputation or just, just the sense of purpose. I want to do this. I want to be known for this because it sits right with my soul. Look for those sparks of ideas early on in the week. Once Mercury moves into Gemini, communication, social engagements, those should really enhance for you. You're going to be able to meet people where they are, see both sides of every story. Now, the first conversation Mercury has once it enters its kingdom is with Jupiter, who is new there. So you may be experiencing a lot of invitations. And the thing is, you can't say yes to everything. And that's going to be the hardest thing to do is to take a step back and say, okay, what is aligned with my path? What is going to serve me right now? How can I take whatever this is and expand it and make it scalable? That's what you want to lean into. And very soon after Jupiter and Mercury meet, they're also going to have a conversation with Pluto by trying. And Pluto is focused on your partnerships, your one-to-one -one connections, your clients. It's in flow with what you do every day. This is a good time to lean into powerful connections, powerful partnerships that are transformative in one way or another, kind of thinking outside of the box. Now, this week in that same social area, we also have the Sun and Venus meeting. So you're going to be very magnetic, joyful, be able to attract the conversations you want to have. Whatever you're focusing on, you're going to see a lot of it. So we want to focus on solutions, not challenges. And both Venus and the Sun will reach out and have a sextile with the North Node. And the North Node is focused on new directions in your solar chart. It's saying, okay, where do we go from here? What are our convictions? How do we publish? How do we share? How do we reach outside of our comfort zone? I think you're going to have a lot of allies, a lot of friends that are going to help you do that. All right. With that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Virgo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your reputation, two, health and wealth, and three, transitions going from one step to the other. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, we are building toward a new moon. It's going to happen in the highest part of your solar chart. So it really flow into every area of your life, your home, work, life balance, your partnerships, and your individuality. This is a great time to set short and long-term intentions around these particular areas about where do you go from here. And there's going to be a lot of ideas before you get to that new moon that you'll be able to hone in on. Now, Mercury, your ruling planet, is getting ready to leave Taurus as we start off this week. And this area of your life has been focused on new direction, higher education, expanding out there into the world. At the very start of this week, you may have an epiphany or a breakthrough, an idea. Something clicks all at once and you're able to see something in a brand new way. Whatever that idea is, I encourage you to write it down, to sit with it because there's going to be more coming and you could easily get overwhelmed with all the inspiration that's coming in. Now, once your ruling planet moves into its other kingdom of Gemini, that's going to be at the highest part of your chart. Mercury in this position gives you a great energy to negotiate, to meet new people, to step outside of your comfort zone to meet people where they are. So it's a great time to have conversations that are normally challenging with authority figures because they're going to be able to see, see your message behind your message, in other words. Now, one of the first conversations Mercury will have is with Jupiter, who is new to this area of your life. Now, the thing about Jupiter in 
Gemini is it, it's abundant. It brings a lot of little things to light. So it's likely that you're going to have a lot of ideas, a lot of suggestions or opportunities right there in front of you at the same time. And it's important to take a step back and ask yourself, which of these are scalable? What can I do long term with this? How can this stretch me out into the next decade? Really think about all sides of this. That's going to help you delineate and figure out this is the intention I need to set. Now, both Jupiter and Mercury are going to trine Pluto this week. Now, this is a very powerful energy. Trines are something that is in flow. And when we can be in flow with power and transformation, that's always a good thing, especially if we can recognize it. Now, Pluto is focused on your habits, what you do day in and out. This is the work that you do, what you must do for others. But having Jupiter in the one area of your house, the highest area of your chart, and Pluto here, your overall health and wealth is going to be really amplified. This is a great time to think about short-term and long-term health and wealth goals. Now, also this week, the sun and Venus are going to meet at the highest part of your chart. You're going to be very magnetic, be able to attract situations, ideas, and connections that you need to make things happen, especially when it comes to your home work-life balance. Both of these energies are going to be reaching out and talking to the North Node. So you will understand in order to do this, this is a transition I need to take. This is the karmic path that I'm ready to step on. But overall, a very exciting week. I hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Libra. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, new horizons and directions, two, your passions, and three, your partnerships. Now, let's talk about why. Now, this week, we are building towards a new moon in Gemini, which is going to highlight that new direction, publishing, stretching out into a direction that you haven't gone before, but also convictions and spiritual beliefs. So as we move through this week, there's going to be a lot of ideas and opportunities that are going to help you seed the right intentions that will align with not only those new directions, but also your passions and your personal brand. Now, as we kick off this week, Mercury is getting ready to leave Taurus. Mercury has been in an area of your life that has to do with transformation, deep seated relationships, something that has to do with shared wealth. But as Mercury gets ready to leave, its conversation with Uranus could give you an epiphany, a breakthrough about how what the transition that you've been going through has taught you or what you can do now with this deep, intimate relationship, how you can build your legacy. Hold on to those ideas. Now, once Mercury moves into Gemini, one of the signs that it rules, you will find that you are eager to learn, eager to teach, eager to share. You're witty. You're funny. You're able to meet people where they are, both one-on-one -on -one and possibly even in bigger groups, Libra. I know you like it one-on-one, -on -one, but I think you'll be able to talk to crowds. And now, once Mercury moves into Gemini, its first conversation is with Jupiter, who is new in this area. So there's going to be an abundant amount of ideas just flooding in from every direction. And this could feel overwhelming at certain times. You could feel off balance. I encourage you, if that happens or even before it happens, to, stay, to take a step back and ask yourself, where do I want to go from here? What is the long-term vision? Because you can't say yes to everything. You want to say yes to things that are aligned with your soul that you can scale not only right now, but over the next decade. Now, something that could help you with this is both Mercury and Jupiter this week are going to trine Pluto. Jupiter trine Pluto is one of the bigger transits of the year. So when we have abundant energy that can move and flow with a powerful transformational energy, we want to move and flow with it. And Pluto right now is focused around your passions, things that you love without condition, people, places, and things. This is a great time to think about how you can grow these passions, how you can transform through them. So look for those ideas. Now, your ruling planet, Venus, will meet with the sun in the same focal area of your chart that's all about new directions this week. So you're going to be able to attract new connections, new teachers, new opportunities to share what you know with others. Look for those. Think about what you want to bring in, not what you don't want to bring in. Both the sun and Venus will sextile the North Node this week. So it's likely that a partnership could give you a great idea. Maybe a client could say, you know what, I've been down that road, one degree of separation. Those kind of inspire you to get to where you need to go. Connections are likely to pop up in some of the most unlikely places this week. As you can see, there's nothing but opportunity. And I do wish you the very best. Hi, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, partnerships, two, the habits that you have, the work that you do, and three, something near your home or your foundation people that you really hold close to you. So let's talk about why. Now, this week, we are building towards a new moon in Gemini. And Gemini in your solar chart are as a Scorpio rising, 
is in a very private area of your life. It has to do with deep, intimate, private relationships, transitions, endings and beginnings, and something around your legacy. This is the shared wealth that we have built over time. Now, as we start this week, I definitely encourage you to think about what seed you want to plant with this new moon in this area of your life. How do you want to attract shared wealth? How can you build something around your legacy? What are the short-term and long-term goals you need to set to make that possible? Because if you hold that thought at the beginning of the week, by the time we get to the new moon with all of the breakthroughs between here and there, you're likely to find some really great ideas. Now, Mercury has been in Taurus, which has been focusing on your partnerships, your one-to-one connections, and it's getting ready to move into one of its kingdoms of Gemini. But before it does that, it's going to have a breakthrough conversation with Uranus. So out of the box ideas, never saw it before. Now that I see it in this new light, I'm able to make these connections and I'm inspired by that. Look for that kind of energy early on in the week. Now, once Mercury moves into Gemini, this is going to highlight that, that area that has to do with transformation and legacy, but it will also be in flow with your home, your foundations, and things that need to end and begin, but also a spiritual connection to something bigger than us. Like, oh, I feel like I'm on time. I'm on purpose with this energy. One of the first conversations that Mercury will have is with Jupiter. So there could be a lot of conversations around the topics I've mentioned, legacy, wealth, shared wealth, deep, intimate relationships, what needs to end and what needs to begin. And they could feel overwhelming, especially if some of these things have been in place for a long time. I encourage you to take a step back, ask yourself, what sits right with my soul? What do I really need to do that's going to support me not only now, but down the road? You want to think long term with these decisions. And that will help you kind of hone in Jupiter and give Jupiter something to expand instead of everything to expand here. Now, Jupiter and Mercury will both be in trying with Pluto this week. But Jupiter trying Pluto is one of the bigger transits of the year. This is a time where you have powerful, expansive energy working in flow with transformation. Like this is a new step forward. And this has to do with your ancestry, your home, something at your roots and your foundation. This is a great time to lean into changes that support all areas. It makes everyone feel heard and seen and is set up for long-term growth. Even if that's a new story, we want to look for ideas to do that. Both Venus and the sun are going to meet in this private area of your life around legacy and shared wealth. So being able to attract the solutions that you need, the negotiations that you need around this point are very likely. I think you could get a couple of different offers to consider. But again, you want to consider the ones that can support you in the long term. Venus and the sun from this area will reach out and talk to the North Node. The North Node is focused on your work, your habits, where you're going, how those things that you do every single day build into your overall health and wealth. So you may say, okay, well, now that I have to go through this transition, these are the little things that I have to put in place to ensure that this growth point, this wealth that we're building together has the support systems that it needs because you're going into uncharted territory on one level or another. But overall, there is a lot of opportunity for you this week. Most of it is behind the scenes. It's more on a private level. That's kind of where you like it. But everything that you do here is going to abundantly impact your more public areas of your life in the weeks to come. All right. With that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your partnerships, two, communication, and three, the passions that you have, things that are connected to your heart that you love without condition. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we move into this week, we are working towards a new moon in Gemini, and this new moon is going to highlight your partnerships, your one-to-one connections. You're going to feel this in flow with your individuality, your homework, life balance, but also your local environment and something that has to do with your dream. And before we get to that point, there's going to be a lot of inspiration, a lot of ideas and opportunity of breakthroughs when it comes to those topics in your life. So paying attention early on in the week will help you hone in on the intentions and the goals that you want to set with that new moon, that clean slate that we have later in the week. Now, as we kick off this week, Mercury's getting ready to leave Taurus and Mercury's been focused on the work that you do, the habits that you have and your overall health and wealth. Before Mercury leaves Taurus, it will have an abundant breakthrough conversation with Uranus. So it may be that you've been doing a lot of little things, you've been applying a lot of work to a situation, and now that you're on the other side of it, you have an epiphany. You know how to make it easier, you know how to expand, you know how to grow, build into something that supports your overall health and wealth. Pay attention to those insights early on because you will build on them. There's going to be a lot of them, but you want to really notice how they feel when they first come in. Then we have Mercury moving into Gemini. So this is going to highlight your partnerships, your communication, the people that you talk to every day. 
this is going to be a period of time where you're going to be able to communicate very clearly to meet people where they are, to attract a lot of different partnerships and connections, to to move things forward in a positive way. One of the first conversations Mercury has once it enters its kingdom of Gemini is with Jupiter, who is new to this area of your chart as well. Now, Jupiter is your ruling planet, and where it is in Gemini is the furthest from your kingdom of Sagittarius. is across the sky. And something to consider when your ruling planet is in Gemini is that it's very easy to get overwhelmed. There's a lot of details. It's not the big picture vision that you're used to. It's the tiny little things. So Jupiter and Mercury working together this week, it's likely that there's going to be a lot of partnerships, a lot of invitations coming in at one time. And the biggest thing that you can do to support yourself is just take a step back and ask yourself, what really works with me, not only in the short term, but in the long term? What can I commit to? Who can I partner with? What can I partner with in a healthy way? Now, one of the bigger transits of this year is your ruling planet, Jupiter, moving into trine with Pluto who is in Aquarius. And that's going to happen this week. Mercury will also try in Pluto. These two energies are really highlighting your social sectors. These are my partnerships. These are the people I work with every day. And this is the dream I have. This is the community that I'm a part of. This is a good time to lean into the flow of transition, the power dynamics, changing something in a positive way. Any invitation you have to do that, anything that's going to set up a healthy power balance going forward, you want to lean into that this week. We also have the Sun and Venus meeting in Gemini this week. This is going to be a very magnetic, beautiful, harmonious energy to connect one-on-one with other people, but also I think as well as with groups and in your local environment. So social invitations are likely. These Both the Sun and Venus will speak to the North Node this week. The North Node is focused on your passions, things that you love without condition, your entrepreneurships. There's a lot of ideas coming from those connections, that social development that you have that will inspire even more creativity or give you more reason to support those things that you love without condition as you work with this week. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Capricorn, your top three focuses this week are gonna be one, things that you love without condition, your passions. Two, the habits that you have, the work that you put in every day, how that flows into your overall health and wealth. And three, your foundation, something close to your home. Now, let's talk about why. Now, we are building towards a new moon this week in Gemini. That's going to highlight those habits that you have, the work that you do day in and day out, and how that supports your overall health and wealth. There's going to be a lot of energy in this sector of your chart. But as we build through this week, I encourage you to notice what ideas or suggestions come in and say, you know what, that one feels right. That one feels like I would have to grow or adjust in an uncomfortable way that doesn't fit my path right now. If you keep that mindset, what feels right, what doesn't, as you step into this week, that's going to help you grasp some magical moments and seeds that you can plant as we get to the new moon. Now, as we kick off this week, Mercury is getting ready to leave a sector of your chart that has a lot to do with things that you love without condition. Before Mercury leaves, though, it will meet Uranus. So sudden breakthrough ideas, epiphanies, something that you thought could never happen suddenly happens when it comes to your passions, your entrepreneurships. But I do think you should feel inspired by this energy. And I want you to grasp anything that lights you up and hold on to that as we work through the next couple of days, because that'll help you build on what you already have or discern what you need out of that idea. Now, once Mercury moves into Gemini, this is going to highlight those habits, the work that you do day in and day out. You're going to be able to meet people where they are. There's going to be a lot of ideas and suggestions, even a playful, funny energy that you can bring into your daily environment that will inspire. One of the first conversations Mercury has once it moves into this area of your life is with Jupiter. Jupiter's brand new. It's likely that you are starting to feel an abundance of a lot of little things or a duality, a lot of a lot of ideas coming at you at once about where to go from here. And it could easily feel overwhelming. And with Mercury here, you're going to be talking about these and you could kind of talk yourself into circles about should I do this or should I do that? Before that occurs, or if that occurs, I encourage you to take a step back. What habits, what rituals do you need that are going to support your short-term and long-term overall health and wealth? Those are the ones that you want to work with. Feel free to explore any direction. I think it's always healthy to be curious. But as you explore, as you are curious about what to do, notice how you feel. Does it sit right with your soul? One of the bigger transits of the year is Jupiter reaching out and trying to Pluto. And that's going to happen this week. Mercury and Jupiter are going to be in trying with Pluto. Pluto is focused on your value systems, your earning power, your self-esteem, what's important to you and why. And when we have a trine, this is an easy flowing energy. It says, okay, let's work together. Let's move together in this direction. So you have two of your health and wealth houses lit up this week. 
And it's asking you or inviting you to step into a new direction, to expand out into something maybe that you haven't thought of before, but is ready to be born. So look for those ideas. Look for the opportunity to work with power and transformation. Now, both the sun and Venus will meet this week in that area of your life that supports your habits and the work that you do. So you could be able to attract in new work, be able to look at a new health regimen or ideas around how can I support myself this week? Look for those. You're going to be very magnetic. Both the sun and Venus will reach out and have a sextile with the north node that's focused around your home, your roots and your foundations. So maybe that someone close to you at home around your foundations says, you know what, maybe try it this way. Try this routine that might help you work around something or you may learn from your past, someone who's already been down your path, all possibilities. All right, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, something around your home, your roots and foundation, two, your passions, things that you love without condition, people, places, or things. That's going to be a really highlighted area for you. And three, local vibes, how you communicate with other people. Now, let's talk about why. As we move into this week, we're working towards a new moon in Gemini. Now, this new moon highlights people, places, and things that you love without condition. There's going to be a lot of energy before we get to this new moon. So I encourage you to really notice how certain ideas make you feel. Like if it sits right with your soul, notice if you're excited and inspired by what is coming into your field. That'll be a good clue to follow. And it'll help you understand what seeds of intention that you can set with this new moon. As we kick off this week, we do have Mercury getting ready to leave the area of your life that supports your foundations, something close to your home. But before Mercury leaves, it will have a conversation with Uranus. So sudden breakthroughs or insights, seeing the other side of the story. Now that you know what you know, you have a brand new idea about how you can approach something on a foundational level that can change every corner of your life. I encourage you to notice those ideas, lean into them, be curious about them. Now, being curious is going to be very easy as Mercury moves into Gemini, its home sign. Gemini is a very curious and playful energy, able to meet people where they are. And with Mercury here, you have that superpower. So when it comes to your passions, new directions, your personal brand, you're going to be very empowered by Mercury. It's a great time to communicate ideas around these topics. Now, one of the first conversations Mercury will have is with Jupiter. So it's likely to be abundant ideas and topics and invitations just passion flooding into your life. But remember with Jupiter in Gemini, it's very easy to get overwhelmed because Jupiter expands everything and Gemini has a lot of little things. And we don't want to expand a lot of little things. We want to narrow in on things that really sit right with our soul. So keep that in mind. Now, Jupiter will reach out and trine with Pluto this week. And Pluto is in your sign. So will Mercury. But Jupiter trine Pluto is one of the bigger transits of this year. This is an opportunity to abundantly work with the power of transformation, of growth, really dig in and say, you know what, this is this is who I am. This is who I'm becoming. This is what I want to do in my life. This is what I'm passionate about. So be sure to look for those opportunities so you can lean into that power and transformation that Pluto is inviting you to do in your sign. Now, the sun and Venus will also meet in that very passionate area of your chart. So it, it's a great time to have fun, to attract fun experiences and things that inspire your creativity and your passions. I think once you think about it, it will almost manifest immediately. So use that power wisely. Both the sun and Venus will be in sextile with the North Node this week. So inspiration could come from your local environment. You could just be going about, about your normal rituals and you run into something or you see something. It's like, you know what, if I do this, that feels aligned. That's That really aligns me with my karmic path. Even though I've never been down there before, I feel like I know I have an instinct that's going to lead me in the right direction. So listen to those clues too. And I think you'll be set up for success. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Pisces. Let's take a look at your week. So Pisces, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your home life, two, your local environment, how you communicate with other people, and three, your values, systems, what's important to you. Now let's talk about why. Now your home, your foundations is going to get a lot of energy this week. And because it's happening at your home, you're going to feel it in your home work-life balance, your personal brand, your vitality, and your partnerships. We are building towards a new moon in this area of your life. New moons always give us fresh energy, a new start, seeds that we can plant to really grow something. Before we get to that new moon, we've got a lot of insightful energy and ideas and opportunities to work with so that we are clear on the seeds that we want to set. As we kick off this week, Mercury is getting ready to leave Taurus, but before it does, it's going to meet with Uranus. So this is going to bring a lot of 
sudden insight and inspiration, maybe communication or news that you did not anticipate at first. But now that you know what you know, you have a new vision and a new idea about how to step forward or a lot of ideas that you're trying to sort out. So hold on to those. Sit with anything that feels inspiring to you. Because once Mercury moves into Gemini, a sign that it rules, this is going to highlight the foundational area of your life, something close to your home. You're going to be able to communicate clearly, meet people where they are in a playful way, a curious way. It's a good time to invite in conversations and say, well, that was a fun experience. What does that mean? What do we do now? Think about that energy. You're going to have a lot of empowerment there. Now, one of the first conversations Mercury will have once it reaches its kingdom is with Jupiter, who is new to this area. And because of this, there's going to be an abundant conversation, abundant ways to look at things. But one of the things that we want to consider is that Jupiter and Gemini, we can easily get overwhelmed with so many little things. We want to focus on things that support us not only in the short term, but in the long term. We can't say yes to everything, especially at a foundational level of our life. We want to think about how we can scale this for years to come. So keep that in mind this week. Now, both Mercury and Jupiter will reach out and talk to Pluto by trying this week. Jupiter trying Pluto is one of the bigger transits of the year. It's a very powerful energy. These, these planets are in new places in your life. It's given us new insight and new opportunity for both growth and transformation. Now, Pluto is working behind the scenes for you on a subconscious level, something around endings and beginnings and transformation. So you may find that topics like this are coming up, that you feel like you are astride two worlds. But the thing is that being astride these two worlds is a blessing right now because you're able to learn from the past and plan your future with a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So lean into that opportunity. We also have Venus and the sun meeting in this area of your life that supports your home and your foundations. This is a very magnetic energy. This is a time to really manifest and attract people, places, and things, situations into this area. Hosting a party, going to a party, spending time with people that you care about is highly recommended. These two planets, the sun and Venus, will work in sextile with the north node this week. So you may find that you are getting a lot of ideas about this is important to me. This is why this matters. This is what I want to support. These are the finances I need. This is what I need to grow in this direction. So listen to those clues and ideas. Nothing but opportunity to work with this week. Your most important job is to focus on where you're going and to use the wisdom of the past to get there. I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aries. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your values, what's important to you, two, your communication and local environment. That's where we're going to have a lot of this week's energy. And three, your independence or your vitality. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we step into this week, we're building toward a new moon in Gemini, which will highlight your local environment, people you communicate with day in and day out, your partnerships, and a dream that you share. But before we get to this new moon, we have a lot of breakthrough ideas that we can work with. So first off, we have Mercury getting ready to leave Taurus. Before Mercury leaves Taurus to go to its kingdom of Gemini, it's going to have a breakthrough, abundant idea around something that has to do with your values or your resources or even your self-esteem. There's going to be a, a new way to look at something or to approach something that you haven't considered before. It's a little bit out of the box, very, very original. I encourage you to hold on to those ideas because you will build on them as we move through the next couple of days. Mercury will then move into Gemini, its kingdom. And once Mercury's in Gemini, meeting people where they are, being curious, communicating clearly and easily, having a little bit of fun, being playful is all likely. This is a great time to set up conversations that would normally be challenging because you're going to be able to ensure that they flow very smoothly. Now, one of the first conversations we'll have once it moves into this area is with Jupiter, who is new to Gemini. Now, Mercury and Jupiter and Gemini, now when we put these two energies together, what we can expect is a lot of abundant ideas coming in at once, which can feel very overwhelming because you cannot logically say yes to everything and still feel in a natural flow in your life and the daily rhythm that you have. It's important to dial in on things that you can scale, not only in the short term, but in the long term. So keep that in mind. Now, both Mercury and Jupiter will trine Pluto this week. Jupiter trine Pluto is one of the bigger energies of 2024. This is an opportunity to work with power and transformation, to think outside of the box, to look at something that's bigger than you and understand how your karmic path flows through it. Any opportunity that you have to do that, I encourage you to engage, especially when it comes to a network that you're a part of, a dream that you have. Often we do not notice trines as easily as we notice squares. So if you have an opportunity to meet a power source or to rebalance power when it comes to your local environment or the people that you connect with, definitely take it this week. We'll also have the Sun and Venus meeting when it comes to this local environment. We also have the Sun and Venus meeting in this local area of your life. So 
Communicating with a lot of heart and curiosity and playful energy is also amplified and supported by these two energies, attracting in the connections that you're looking for. These two energies, Venus and the sun, will also be in sextile with a north node, which is in your sign. So you're going to get a lot of ideas from your local environment about how to fully express yourself and step into this karmic path that you feel nudging you forward into a more independent way of thinking and approaching every corner of your life, especially your home work-life balance and your partnerships. As you can see, this week is packed with social opportunities that will really help you launch into a new direction in a positive way. With that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Taurus. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Taurus, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your personal brands, your vitality, two, your values, what's important to you, and three, your reputation. Now, let's talk about why. This week, we are moving towards a new moon in Gemini, which is going to highlight your values, your resources, your earning power, what's important to you and why. It will also be in flow with your overall health and wealth. Now, before we get to this new moon, we have a lot of exciting energy building up to it. So I encourage you as you move through these first few days of the week to focus on what you're ready to let go of and what you're ready to seed as you move forward. Because as these opportunities come to light, you're going to see that there's a there's a need for transition to get from one point to the other. Now, as we kick off this week, Mercury's getting ready to leave your sign. But before it does, it meets Uranus. So a lot of sudden breakthrough ideas around your vitality, your brand, how you express yourself how it flows into your home, work-life balance, and partnerships is definitely likely. Look for those ideas. Look for a new way to think about an old problem. Mercury will then move into one of its kingdoms of Gemini. Now, Mercury in Gemini brings insightful energy. You're able to meet people where they are. You're curious. You're playful. If it, there's a duality to it, if this, if not this, then that, or is it both this and that energy when it comes to your resources? So there's likely to be a lot of ideas around your overall health and wealth. This is a good time to communicate any ideas that you have around this topic because you'll be able to meet people where they are. Now, with that being said, one of the first conversations that Mercury has when it moves into Gemini is with Jupiter, who is new to Gemini as well. So you may find that you are overwhelmed with a lot of opportunities or ideas at the same time. And often when it comes to resources, we want to say yes to everything. Yes, give me all the resources. But I encourage you to take a step back and ask yourself which of these resources or ways to earn or build the wealth that you have is scalable. Things to consider is will it stress your mind and body? Will it stress your relationships? Is it something that you can do every day long term? In other words, you're looking for seeds and opportunities that will not stress any of those areas that will feel natural and in flow that you can grow and expand with a lot of passion over the coming years. Think about that. We also have Mercury and Jupiter having a conversation with Pluto by trine this week. The trine between Jupiter and Pluto is one of the most notable ones of the year. It's an expansive breakthrough opportunity. Both of these energies are new to us in some degree or another, and it invites us to work with progressive change, to lean into an opportunity that has both endings and beginnings, but aligns us with a karmic path that we are on. So I encourage you to look for those opportunities to lean into them especially when it comes to topics of your overall health and wealth and the reputation that you have in this world, that sense of purpose that you have. Now, Venus and the sun will also meet in the area of your life that supports your wealth and your earning power. You may find a lot of opportunities coming into this area. Whatever you think about, you're going to be able to manifest. So you want to think about solutions and not challenges, accepting things that sit right that you can build with. Again, that's a, that's a common story that all the planets are speaking about this week. Now, Venus and the sun will be in sextile with the North Node this week. And the North Node in your chart is more so behind the scenes on a subconscious level. So you may get an epiphany or an idea. I need to end this to begin this or a spiritual breakthrough or a subconscious breakthrough that helps you see something in a new light based on what's important to you and why it's important to you. So you also want to listen to your intuition this week, those internal clues about what needs to end and begin, really lean into the opportunity to work with power and all topics around health and wealth. We want to consider them, but we want to also ensure that we are engaging ones that support us in the long term as well as the short term. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. Look forward to seeing you there and next time.